2009, Inauguration Day. The inaugural ball. They walked out. She had on that gorgeous white dress. Oh, what's the guy's name? Luther. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Knocking on the Oval Office window, I would say. That was probably the peak of my entire existence. The moment when he picked me, I was so happy. I had to, like, I had to be the last question. Uh, before I answer your question, why don't you give me a little rep? Let's see. Let's see what you got. I was so emotional. I was crying. Thank you, President Obama, for coming to Vietnam. It's the first time in my life I felt like the White House belonged to everybody. And you really felt you know, you felt those first three words of the Constitution, we the people. Like, it was one of those first times in my life that I felt like I was really part of that we. My Obama moment was when I received this letter from President Obama last year, welcoming me to become a U.S. citizen. When he just changed all the rules on the table in regards to Cuba, with the most succinct motivation imaginable, which is, uh, what we've been doing hasn't worked. <laughs> which made all the sense in the world. My Obama moment was the signing of the Paris Agreement and making the United States the leader in the fight against global warming. When I was at the UN and I, you know, I heard our president say that climate change is the most important issue facing not only this generation but all future generations, it was inspiring. For me, it was uh, traveling with the president to schools in Boston and uh, the way he engaged the students. It was just one of those moments to see him connect like that uh, that I think you see throughout his presidency. My favorite President Obama moment was when he was elected president in 2008, because in 2008 was when I was born. I never cried before from election result. <laughs> I don't know, just the magic of that moment, of that man who we'd all been on this journey with, take that stage with his family, I was sitting at home in my living room and I felt like I was a part of that crowd in that park. I didn't think I would live to see an African American emerge as president, but he did. Third grade, when we had this project to write a letter to the White House, it was really strange when he actually replied back because it was like, whoa, I'm a third grader and I can actually get a response from the president. I can actually make a difference. In the aftermath of the school shootings in uh, Connecticut, I don't know how he did it. At one point, at the lectern, started to sing Amazing Grace, and the entire congregation stood up and did the same. And to me, it was, a, it was just a powerful moment, and one that the nation needed, and one that he was able to provide. His battle towards the end uh, to pardon a lot of uh, convicted felons who have been given heavy sentences for small drug-related crimes. What, what uh, I remember most about the visit was how excited everybody in my house was, and uh, especially all the young people who were helping us, and I think the, the way they got so excited and so happy about it uh, was something that I would always remember. When the President of the United States lit the first ever dia in the White House as a symbol of the Hindu Festival of Lights. President Obama put sexual violence on the map as an issue. Survivors can now speak about their experiences without shame. It's been amazing to be a part of that movement. The moment that, you know, we got the Affordable Care Act passed because I have relatives that, you know, can't afford health insurance. So it was really a great thing to know that uh, something happened to them they get cared for. The excitement we had when the Affordable Care Act became a law. My particular case, uh, I have a pre-existing condition which was finally able to be cared for medically. When Obama came out and spoke for same-sex marriage. Him showing his support towards um, trans separately from LGBT, from um, sexuality, just like, go Obama. The most memorable Obama moment for me is when he said, eat your peas. Eat our peas which means just do it or get the most important things done first. The CVS experience with Michelle was pretty cool. And uh, dancing with uh, Barack at his birthday party. And he's a good dancer, you know. He should not get any flack for that. You're a good dancer. He's my role model, my idol, because I want to be president. When he wished Happy New Year to all the Iranian Americans and he said, Ada Shaw Mubarak live on CNN, perfectly. Yeah, how often do we remember Jackie Robinson? Everybody does. To 
me, he would be the Jack of Robinson on politics from my standpoint. He told everybody to clear out of the way. This is great. The kid to, to pressurize the marshmallow gun, and uh, they launched it. Oh! So Obama out. Dropped the mic on him, blew the kiss, and when I saw that, it absolutely blew me away.